what is going on? So we've brought back out the HydroPower Pelton wheel. You can see here, I'll flip it so you can just see better. It has 18 Pelton buckets on the inside on a hub and they are screwed in place. It is then connected up top. It has in here, just in case you guys haven't seen this before, it has one pulley right there that's actually just to hold this in place. That's the bottom one. And then the bigger one is a 36 tooth pulley. It's a GT2. And then there's a 20 tooth on connected to the motor. So it gives, almost gives it a two to one gear ratio so the motor can get the RPM necessary to make its 12 volts. So that's connected. And the reason I just put new Pelton buckets on, well, you can see here the quality. This was printed on my Anycubic Chiron. And well, while it did work and these were okay, the inside was a bit rough. And there was and a lot of subscribers and people commented saying, hold well, on, let me get it to focus for you. There we go. You can see the, the surface quality and surface finish just isn't desirable, and it's leaving room for improved efficiency because the water just isn't coming off cleanly. So that's where these are now printed in ASA. They're a lot smoother. I dropped the layer lines down. This is the one I'm not using because it had that imperfection. But I want to vapor smooth these and get them even smoother. But you can see they're almost perfect other than just that little overhang area right there. But I mean they printed just beautifully in ASA. So I can vapor smooth them. I might I'll show you this again. Much better quality on the ASA versus this is just PLA. So this is what was on it on all the buckets. You can see it's just not great overall versus this one, which is just beautiful. The one I'm not using is still beautiful, so it probably would be okay with that little bit, but I might vapor smooth and test on this one and see how it goes. So let's test and see the difference. I think last time it was about 20 watts. Let me insert the clip. So now we're going to see if this makes a difference on efficiency, just being this much smoother. And if it does work, they say it gets like 25 watts or above that number. We can now vapor smooth and see if that further improves the efficiency. I just wanted to note that these are 12 volt, 25 watt heating elements. They are waterproof, which is pretty, pretty convenient for the water test. Right now, only one of them is hooked up. I'm actually gonna disconnect them right now just to see the voltage that we get. We'll see what voltage we get with no load like we normally do. We'll hook up one and then we'll hook up two and see what kind of power we get out of this unit. And if you guys have never seen a Pelton wheel or Pelton bucket, this is what they look like. And what happens is the water, as it spins, it allows, this is the cutout, it allows it to pass through. But the water hits here, it goes in and forces it to make a U-turn, thus doubling efficiency. And I'll show you a little trick that shows how this actually works. A clever way that you can see this demonstrated is just go to your sink, take a spoon, first hold it like this, and turn your water on. Okay, once you have it up, just kind of hold it right about here. Feel how much it pushes down your hand. Then flip the spoon over, and now it's like this. You can see the water now has to come up. It pushes down on your hand way harder than it did before. First one is like this. It kind of just pushes off to the side. Now it has to change direction. So more energy is transferred into the spoon. So what about... Well, I accidentally let the wires touch again, but look at the voltage. It's actually above the 12, so this heating element was getting very, very warm very quickly, but it was about 2.18 amps and just under 30 watts. So I decided that I want to get this plugged in, but listen to the power or the sound difference when I touch it. And that's due to the increased load on the motor. But if you'll see, it's making about the same wattage, it just has a higher amperage now with a lower voltage. So the heating pads aren't actually getting as warm because they're both being run in um, parallel and essentially they're both being powered by the same current, like it's not daisy chained together. So this way they're each getting the same amount of amperage, it's split, but this generator is maxing out. This is now what the bucket looks like after it's been vapor smooth. It works much better. I tested it under the sink, and you can just tell how slick and smooth it is. It also rounded this little middle part there, so it actually splits the water even better. But you can just see just how shiny this part is. You can see the sun glare on it. It did a great job. So for a first try, I'll say it was definitely worth vapor smoothing. I got all of these ones on now. You can see 
You can see they're all about the same gloss. I did batches of six. The last six are drying right now, but I'm gonna mount them and I'm gonna try and get a test before the sun sets. So, see you guys over there. I now have this fully set up with the Vapor Smooth wheels, so the buckets. So I think it's actually gonna make a little bit more power based off the little bit of testing that I did. But let's find out. So you can see right off the bat, it is making a little bit more power. It's making just over 32 watts. And this is because of that amperage being a little bit higher and it allows the voltage to drop down a little bit, but the motor's trying to comp compensate. So a higher gear ratio, if I got those four extra teeth and just went with say like a 40 or even a 42 tooth, it would make more. But right here you can see there's no water splashing off, which means the Pelton wheel was operating very, or is operating very efficiently. And that water not splashing off is what you guys commented saying that it shouldn't be. And this is proven right here as it's running more efficiently. It's now up to almost 35 watts. It peaks right about around 35 watts. And that's 15 more watts than the last video. That's almost doubling the power. And then right here, it was at the end of the next clip I'll show you, but it peaks at 37.2 watts. And that's because when I put the heating elements in the water to cool them down, thankfully they're waterproof, it then I believe increased the resistance inside of them making the amperage higher, which gave that little, that higher number. So I think if I kept cooling them down, because they were extremely hot, if I kept cooling them down, they would have likely, it would have produced more power. But I think there's a couple things to be done, and like I said, this is only at 10 volts. So if I can get more RPM out of that motor, which I, I think I'll be able to, I can then get the little bit more power I need. I will have to reprint the new stand in the middle because it's not wide enough to incorporate a bigger one at that height level. So a few more tests, but you guys have been amazing and you can see it's really averaging at that 35 number now. But you guys have been amazing subscribers. You guys comment, give me suggestions, want to see new ideas. I'm going to start working on a couple other projects. I am going to revisit this but I'm just gonna kinda like work on this in free time because now it's a sturdy foundation and it's easy to build off of. But I'm trying, I wanna get a lot of these videos out to you guys. So thank you, like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you soon.